When your mate makes a living as a hoe, it may be time to go. I have sex for a living, and I love it. She puts the hoe in horrible life. Well, well, you're not. You're not you're... My fiancé does gay porn, and I want him to stop. But I'm not gay. How you are can... you not gay when you have sex with My wife has a bunch of sugar daddy. And if this is what you want to do for money, you go right ahead, because I'm going to do like this right now. Thanks for watching. It's hard enough to maintain a relationship in the best of times, but when your mate makes a living as a hoe, it may be time to go. Wow. Take a look at this. My name is Hollywood, and I'm a legal prostitute. I have sex for a living, and I love it. And welcome to my room. It's a little bit of glitz and a little bit of glamour. I get to dress up, party, and make men's fantasies come true. Every day is a new adventure and a new opportunity to turn men on. The money is great, and the best part is, I get to have sex all the time. Unfortunately, my husband doesn't understand how much this really means to me. Today's the day. He needs to accept my profession, or I'm gone. Please welcome James to the show. James, how you doing? Hi, Bill. How are you? I don't mean to show you disrespect by calling your wife a hoe, but that's what you call her, correct? Um, for lack of a better word, yes. When you take a look at that tape, you're married to this woman. She's having sex all day with different guys. How does that make you feel? Right now, actually, she puts uh, the hoe in horrible wife, uh, you know, and I just, I can't believe that she's doing this. I knew what she did before we met, and she, but I never thought she'd go back to it. And so you two have a business, so you knew when you married her and put the ring on the finger, you knew at that point that she was a prostitute. Bill, when I met her, she was a telemarketer. I mean, and... What was she marketing? Uh, <laughs> she's a telemarketer, and, and I, I don't think this is funny at all because, I mean, this is a serious subject for me. I'm here to tell her right now that basically money is not more important than our family. It's not important, more important than our marriage or our child. When I met... You have a two-year-old son. Yes, we do. And I, I don't want him to grow up knowing what she did at some point. And, um, and we have a family, and I can't even tell my family what she does for a living. So, so you, you feel like Mr. Mom in this relationship. I am Mr. Mom. I didn't sign on to be a single parent. I mean, she's gone for three weeks at a time, sometimes two weeks at a time. And I'm, I'm not having sex while, while she's gone. And she's having sex and enjoying herself. She's telling me about clients that she's gone to different places that I've taken her to. So the intimacy in your relationship as a husband with a wife is often, you call it pity sex? Well, What do you mean? After, after a two or three week sexcapade all over the country, she's coming back to you and she, knew, she wants a day off. Right, Bill. I mean, she's gone, like I said, for three weeks at a time. When she does come home, what she's focused on is just relaxing. She comes home like she's on vacation. She doesn't help around the house. She doesn't help take care of our child. And like I said, again, I love her. And when, when I want to make love to her, I want to be with her. I want to be intimate. And that's the last thing she wants to do, you know. And so some of the things is she doesn't wear, you know, makeup. She doesn't basically get dressed up for me, wear high heels. Even though I still love her, it's a in spite of all she's of that. She's in sweats all day. She's in sweats all day. And like, I'm going, you dress up for your clients. Why can't you dress up for me? And she'll tell me like stories about how she went, they took her shopping, you know, they went to Vegas and she's wearing this outfit, that outfit, you know. You don't want to hear this. No, I don't. And like, what I love about her is she's so honest and transparent. She'll tell you anything. You ask her any question, she's like, if you want the truth, she'll give you the truth. Does your family knows what she, what she's doing? When you get together no, Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July. She's not there for Thanksgiving. She's gone. She's, she's with clients. So, and, and the two-year-old boy neglecting well, what do you say hey my you know my wife's not here she's uh what what do you say he's really too young right now to, to really grasp the severity of this and that's a good thing and so that's why i'm really trying to get her out of this right now she needs to get out you say absolutely because when that kid is seven eight nine right. ten you know he's gonna have to know like your mom was a legal prostitute you know and how do you explain that to him and the money won't be worth it at that point no and she's valuing money more than our relationship please welcome james wife holly to the show holly come on out Stop I'm not a horrible wife. Well, like, you I'm are. providing you're for not, a family, so I don't know what you're talking about. Us. 
You're not there for me. You're not I'm there, there for, for you our emotionally. son. Emotionally, I'm there for you. Spiritually and definitely Okay, how about sexually? How about sexually? Okay, I need a day off. I work 24 hours a day, two, three, okay. four weeks well, at a time. Well, we talked about this before, and I don't know why. Basically, you don't see my perspective on this. I mean, at the end of the day, you I need you to. You can just sit at home and do whatever you want to do. Yes, no, you have to run the I, business and take no, care of our son, but you can go and out I think to you eat. Just you can hang out. out with friends. You tapped out on I our relationship. You tapped out on our son, and that's the truth about this matter. No, I'm providing for our family. But when you're gone for two and three weeks. Who's caring for your two-year-old son? I am. I am. All right, and when you come back, you're so tired from all your activities, you can't be a wife to your husband, you no, can't be a mother to your true. son. I take that's, him that's out. We have, you know, we go to like pumpkin patches. We just went to the pumpkin patch twice last that week. That one of my, one of the, the, the. So, I take my son out. I take him out to, you know, I hang out with him. I get up with him in the morning. You're but too, you don't need the money. You're focused on our clients, and that's your clients. We need the money. Because this is a successful businessman. It is, and, and the business is successful, but we still don't have the college. Are you sure? It's more about money. Are you it sure is? it's no, about I, the excitement? It's I, about I the sex with a bunch of men. The baby I love the sex after you lost the baby weight, you know, and, the and she started baby. working out. I think that basically she clients. she likes all the all them. the attention that she's getting from these guys, and that's what I think it is. I think it has something to do with the money, but I think it has more to do with the attention that they're getting. Tell her how much it's hurting, because I'd also make this point. What if he was a male prostitute having sex with hundreds of women and it's, came it's, home to it's you? Just about the money. I wish I could. Can I get hired as one? I would, love to, it's not legal. I would love to. What do, I'm doing is legal work. You're not, like, you're not like home. It. You're not there. When you come home, we talk about this all the time. Even last night, what happened last night? You were too tired. You we said, traveled. I've had eight you were too hours tired. Of sleep in three days. And like we I had said, I would, when we were dating, we were hotel. recording. What was it I like could dating? have it anytime I wanted it, whenever I wanted it. Now what? Do, what? What is your marital relationships like now with James? As a wife? To a husband. She doesn't even enjoy. I don't even think it's, she enjoys having sex it's with like, me. I do enjoy I having sex with you. It's just that again, I'm tired. I work around the clock. I'm constantly on the go. I you don't, don't have to do what you're doing right now, and I've told you that. You okay, get, but you want to buy a home. Me, he wants she does to not want a nine to five. He wants to see she doesn't the world. This is a nine to five job. So she could be. We have a business together. If you don't she doesn't have to do it. I don't have a gun held to your head. Really. What about your child? Know. Okay. We can co-parent. You're walk away from your husband for sex with men for money and walk away from your son? I'm not walking away from my son. I'm still going to provide. He's likely to get custody. Not physically. No, it's California. And you're not even emotionally in there. And you're not he even sexually there. He won't get full there. custody. He won't get full custody. Well, so he wouldn't. Doing what you're doing, maybe I will. No, you won't because I still so, provide financially. Do you understand, Holly? If you leave either. your son for weeks at a time, weeks, the day-to-day -day activities that moms have with children is irreplaceable. It's not like a helicopter He's mom just coming in. I'm not doing in. this for the rest of my life. I'm How much longer? How much longer? I don't want to do it. I, I thought she might do this for a month or two. Now no, she's exactly she's so excited what about what she does. And you enjoy she's the talking about hey, we're going here. We're doing this just as much as I do. Her, her point is, do you enjoy the money she brings in? <laughs> you help spend okay. it. The purpose Answer of her, the question. The purpose of you doing Answer what you're doing question. was to further do you enjoy business, the to pay money? for college, to pay for... I mean, Obviously. the bottom line is this, is that, yes, I mean, but I'm not basically, what I'm not doing is we're not living any more extravagantly than we did before. Hollywood, let me ask and, you this. And I don't see it that often anymore. When you come home and talk to your husband about all the good sex you had with your clients, he and talk about, about the it. food that you ate, the wine that you drank, all the travel... It upsets him. But he asks about And I'm just trying it. to connect. Well, I'm going like, so just, asked, just like your wife would ask you, how was your dad work? My wife's a judge. My wife's a judge, and she'll come over and I talk too. about legal cases. I don't, really I don't talk her. about porn and panties. I don't talk about marital aids. I don't talk about that stuff. Right. She's, too, she's way too focused you know what I did on her clients, me. what you they're going to do. You what I did before you married me, so it yeah, doesn't matter. Well, so think, now you're trying to listen, change the rules listen, in the middle of the game, and it's not going to happen. I you were going to go back to that lifestyle. I did not know that you were going to do this. I thought when you, you know, I, I, I wanted to support you. I always have. But I did not know you were going to do this now. for... Just know that I'm going to He can't support you, you having sex with a bunch of men. But he, he can't support what that. No. What if he was having sex with a bunch of women when you were gone? I need to. Like, what am I supposed to do for three weeks? And, like, I, we talked about it. And she's like, you know, well, just wait for me. What, what do people do in the military? Like, I, well, they're serving their country. You're not serving our country. I'm serving the men in here, in this country. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> serving the men. Okay.
So you see this as a terminal matter unless she changes. Like I said, she puts the hoe in horrible wife. And that's not I don't like that. And I like I said, I don't like calling her I'm that. I'm providing but for the family. But she really is enjoying this way more. I'm giving us a future. More. I'm giving us a better future. Hollywood, you're getting an ultimatum and you're not receiving it. She's not. I'm, I'm not leaving. I love what I do. I'm not leaving. I'm not done there. You might lose your husband and half of your child or you all of your child if you don't change. I'm not going to lose custody of my child. Jane's got I'm a big decision to make. Him. There's more sex secrets coming up in Scandals. Stay right there. I'm not quitting what I'm doing. I'm not leaving. I told him I need a couple years. I want to do a college fund for our son. I want to be able to buy a house. I don't want us to be living check to check or wondering how we're going to pay this off. We need a retirement fund. You know, like we need money in the bank. He's older than I am. I'm a bit younger. And I want to make sure that we're financially set. And if he's not prepared for that, then he's, he can go find somebody else. <laughs> For pay. I'm not gay. How you can, are you not gay when you have sex? Oh. I do a lot of things to keep my paycheck going. And paying the price. We get tested all the time. But and I And we wear condoms and protection. Oh. I am not getting something. Will she walk down the aisle or walk away? Owen, are you willing to give up this lifestyle to spend your life with work? I'm not doing it forever. Camera, I only make love to my wife at home. And that's the truth. Gay for pay, but not all day. You know, in today's show, we're dealing with relationships that may or may not survive. They're made shocking sexcapades. Please welcome Brooklyn to the show. Brooklyn, how you doing? I'm doing good today. How about Hi, you? Brooklyn. Why are you here today? I'm here today because my fiancé does gay porn, and I want him to stop. It is ruining our, our relationship. All right, the, your fiancé is into gay porn. What does that mean? I mean, when... He does gay porn. He does gay porn. Yes. Meaning he's a straight guy... He's a straight guy and he does gay porn. ...acting in gay porn. Yes. When did you find this out? I found this out about, I would say, about four months ago. What happened? He had lied to me the entire time. He had told me that he was just a model. And I found out that when we were in the shower together, I had mentioned something because he said that he likes to shave or nair his genital regions for his modeling. And I said, who does that for modeling? And I had mentioned, who needs to do that? And he told me that he does gay porn. All right, and this is the man that you love. So you're telling me he is straight, and but he does gay porn. He gay porn. Well, can a man be straight that does gay That's porn? He, so he's straight, but he has sex with men. Yes, and but he, he doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't. Apparently, he doesn't enjoy it. But it really upsets me. Like, who does that? Who says that? Do you believe that he is straight, or do you believe that he's Sometimes gay? Sometimes I really have my worries. Now, you also have, I think, unprotected sex yourself with him? Yes, we do. Why, why would you do that? You know, because at first I had no idea what it was that he did. He told me he was a model. He lied to me about it. And we were having unprotected sex. I wanted to use condoms, but he said, you know, I get tested all the time. And you found an STD form that he had to fill out in the gay porn industry to, yes. to allow him to I be found an email and I had mentioned it to him about STD testing. Would you rather have him have sex with women than gay porn or you rather Honestly, have neither? Honestly, with the jealousy factor, I wouldn't want him to have sex with women. I just don't want him to have sex with other people at all. This is not acceptable. And you've communicated this to I him? I have told him this. I told him in the beginning when he told me that this was not okay. He knew I was upset. He knew that I was going to want to leave him. He lied to me. He manipulated me into this. And you're hurt by this, aren't I you? I am hurt. Because? Because he lied about it. And he has sex with other people. I do not have sex with other people. I am faithful. I stay at home when he's gone. I do the chores. I go to work constantly, every single day. I do the day-to-day -day job, and he gets to go out and make a couple thousand dollars having sex with other men. Like, is it really worth it? Let's find out. Please welcome Brooklyn's fiance, Owen, to the show. Owen, come on out.
is that I'm not gay. How you are can... you not gay when you have sex with other men? Do you have oral uh, sex with men? Yes, I do. And I do a lot of things to keep my paycheck going. But I also use Viagra when I do it. I have a lot of things it. when I have my paychecks. I go to work every single okay. day. Why do you have to go and have sex with other men? Because I make plenty of other jobs you can go and do. Uh, not to make thousands of dollars uh, yes, at a time. Yes, you could. No, yes, I couldn't. Yes, you could. I make more than any average person in a month by me just going on one trip. Deep. One trip. One trip. I make more than you and everybody else that does oh, a so normal job. Oh, your job is more important than mine? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you that I make thousands of dollars every trip, free trip. And is that worth our relationship? How'd you go from nude modeling to gay porn? How? Tell me that journey. How'd you first get into nude modeling? How'd that go on? Well, I found everything on Craigslist. That's how I got all my work. You know, I wouldn't recommend women doing that because it's a little more risky. But for the men, a little more risky. It's the same risk. So you went from gay so. modeling to gay porn. Are you bisexual? No, I am not. You don't enjoy it at all. I don't enjoy anything of it except the paycheck. And well, do you get tested all the time? And yes, we get tested all the time. But and I ended we wear up condoms and protection. Oh. I ended up getting something. What do you mean? You get tested a week before, and some people are irresponsible. Some and they people do things. are irresponsible. Yeah. That put a risk on me. I had no idea that this was going to happen in the beginning of our relationship. Did he give you an STD? Yes, he did. Oh, wow. oh, and why would you have unprotected sex with a woman you want to spend your life with? Why would you do that? Because everyone that why I you work give with me that should. Risk? You could have told me in the beginning. It was after you already knew. It was after you already knew. We you got the STD after you already knew. Before you ever even told me. And did you get if anything? I'm... No, you didn't. You got it but after you knew. But it doesn't matter. I could have gotten something. A lover doesn't give a lover an worse. STD and say it's no big deal. It's a big deal. That's well, a big not if it's deal. not stuck with you, it's not. Well, that doesn't matter. That's something that I have to live with. No, you don't, because it's gone. You took a pill and it's gone. So no, you don't have. Oh, to live and are it. you willing to give up this lifestyle to spend your life I with Brooklyn? I want you to quit. I'm not doing it forever, but I'm not going to stop right now. You need to. No, it I'm is not going to. Our relationship. I'm not going to. You're you gone. need to face the fact Every on why single, I do it, and you, you need to face the fact. You leave at least once a month. Yeah, once a month. You leave me at home. You for a couple days. Ever for a couple days. Me. Brooklyn, man to woman. Can she do a lot better, do you think? Yeah. You got a decision to make, honey. Deliver a message to Owen. Deliver him a message. I want you to quit. And I want you to quit today. I don't understand why. Because, because I'm not gay. I don't get satisfaction out of it care. besides the it paycheck. It is ruining our relationship. You gave her an STD because you weren't careful. And now you're saying, trust me, why she doesn't trust me. I was being careful. It was you a tested shoe, and you we wore condoms. Me. You told me you were a model. And then I come to find out that you do gay porn. You know how hard that is to randomly tell someone, hey, you know I just what? want you to I know I do gay porn. About my past. You told her in the shower, you two were nude in the shower, and you're telling her, I got to shave because I do gay porn. That's a big event. Women, don't forget that. I know it was a, a big, big event. event. Are you big gonna, for me, too. Are you going to walk down the aisle with him if he, if he doesn't if stop? If he does not stop, I'm not marrying you. That's it. Yeah. A well, lot I'm more sorry. coming up, including Sugar Daddy. Stay right there. believe what she's doing for money. I love my lifestyle. I mean, it's great. And hubby wants her to stop today. You were lacking in the financial department. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So don't Eat come out here. Uh -uh. Don't come I out here trying to you. play. And what other sexy you know, secrets is she keeping? You said no. That was... After today, your sugar daddy career is over. Those who are married took a vow to stick with our partners through good times and bad, through thick and thin. But what if the bad times include having sex with a sugar daddy? My next guest is worried about that. Please welcome Kevin to the show. Kevin, how you doing? How you doing, Bill? Hi, Kevin. Why are you here today? Bill, my wife has a bunch of sugar daddies. I mean, a bunch of them, like a bucket full of them. A bucket the of sugar daddies. I done lost count. Uh, Not just one, two. No, way beyond that. Um, 
What's I, a sugar daddy to you? What, what's a sugar daddy do? I, I don't know. I ain't never been no sugar daddy. I don't believe that. <laughs> you know? I mean, you want to be a fool and give your money away to a woman uh, for whatever reason, then that's on you. But she I, says, your wife says there's no sex involved, right? I, I believe so. I believe so. You believe sex is involved? Yes. But she denies it. Well, didn't she take a lie detector test? Yes, she did. Well, we shall find out. <laughs> how many years, how many years have you been married? Five years. Five years. And this has been going on all five years? No. When did it begin? Oh, about a couple years ago. How can someone do this? Yeah. Bill, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's disrespectful to themselves. When you're married. One, married or not, a woman shouldn't be putting herself out there, period. Yeah. And you're especially concerned about one man named Michael. Right. Why are you concerned about Michael more than the other bucket of sugar daddies? Because we both know him personally. You know him? Yeah. But she, that's her friend. Yeah. Do you think, uh, you think your wife is sleeping with Michael? Yes, I do. But she denies it. <laughs> right? Oh, I, I, I think she is. But she yeah. took a lie detector. I'm, I'm on, we're going to find out. All right. God, Please welcome Kevin's wife and maybe a sugar baby, Diane, to the show. Diane, come on out. Tell me about your sugar daddies. Yep. In general, what about Michael in particular? Tell me about your lifestyle. I love my lifestyle. I mean, it's great. It's exciting. It's fun. I'm enjoying myself. And you knew from the beginning that I had sugar daddies. You agreed for me to do this because you were lacking in the financial department. Oh, 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 oh. I said, Diane, I said, the only reason why I'm agreeing to this is because I love you and I don't want you mad at me. I don't want you, you agreed to, to it? Me. Did you agree to it? Yes. With stipulations, Bill. Stipulations. With stipulations. stipulations. And no. you know what those Bull stipulations are? What? What? You knew you couldn't provide no. financially, and Diane, I could. I, I made I'm money. The no, you just no, you just being greedy. I'm the you, you just being greedy, and you want to use you. Are you having people. sex with these men? No, you haven't. No, I'm not. No sex. No sex. No, no sex. We're going to find out, because I, I believe you and Michael got something going on a little more than what uh, you uh, pretend no, to be. No, it don't. If you would be a man, I wouldn't have to do anything that I'm doing. I'm working two jobs. I'm the one with the degree. I'm the one paying all the bills. What do you get from these guys? And what do they give you? Trips, money, cars. Why? What do you give them? He's been defending from the two. What do you give them? Hey, we so married. I don't give them anything. You give them nothing. And you, how many time, sugar daddies you got? Over ten? I got ten, and I'm proud. You a damn lie. Do you believe these men give her all this stuff for no return, yeah. nothing at all? Yeah. Now, what? what? Uh, they can yeah. kiss it too. Uh, yeah. What do these guys do for you? What do they do? Everything. Ha Wine and dine me, trips, trips, jewelry, jewelry cash, payment bills, cash. Every he gets it too. I didn't see you complaining when we went to Jamaica. Jamaica. Well, hey, I gotta get some of my. Hey, hey, Papa gotta get some of my other too, sis. So you don't make it play, seem like it's that. such of a big deal, cause you love no, it too. No, 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 no. You hey, love Diane, it too. It's wrong. Today, it's gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. Hold up, Bill. Unless. Hold up, Bill. No, it's not gonna stop. Yellow flag, penalty on the field. It's not gonna stop. You're going to sit on the bench. You no, you're going to be a time out. You're going to sit on the bench. And if you ain't going to sit on the bench, and if this is what you want to do for money, you go right ahead, because I'm going to do like this. Let's do this. We have a very special sugar daddy coming up. Stay right there. Stay right there. Confession. I want to tell you. And confrontation you can't miss. It is sad. Yeah, it is sad that I have to do what I have to do because you're not providing financial. No, make that too. Hold up. Make that clear. Hold up. I, I asked ask you. I, I, I asked ask you for everything ask for it. Yeah. Yeah. Today's all about.
about rather unusual marriages. And Diane, I'm listening to this. I have a hard time believing that you're with all these sugar daddies and getting only stimulating conversations and, and giving too. nothing in return. And so if you can sit back and your man, Kevin, I think you have a confession. And then we have somebody here. So oh. Diane, what do you have to say to, hold on Kevin, she got a confession. Yeah, what tell it? your man, tell your husband of some five years <laughs> something. Let's hear it. Well, I wanna tell you what? Is I slept with Michael. I knew it. That's what I tell you. You told me. You told me. You didn't even read the question off the lie detector. I told you I had it. You pill. told him. You did it. You know what? How many? You're done. You're finished. <laughs> you... Kevin, we got nice. Michael coming. Hold on, man. We got Michael here. Now, hold on. Oh, I got something to say to that All right. son of a boy. How... <laughs> now, you've promised to stay in your seat. Oh, man. Now, are you in love with Kevin, but sleeping with Michael? Oh, yes, I'm definitely in love with Kevin. You're in love with this man. Oh, you I don't have no feelings for Michael. None? None. You have whatsoever. no feelings at all for no, Michael? No, I just want what he has. That's it. In fact, does Michael not even know you're married? I don't no, he doesn't. Think so. He does not know. Please welcome one of Diane's up. best sugar daddies, Michael, to the show. Michael, come on out. for you. Mike. Everything I, for you. I, I, look at him. Look at him. He's a clown. No, man. no, hold on. Wait, man. He's a clown. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this, man. Look at me and look at you, man. Hold up. You got me set, player. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I trusted you. I tried to work with you. And both of y'all played me. You took him to Jamaica with my money? My personal lifestyle is nothing. You really don't feel it for me? No, no, no. Do you know she had a husband? Did you know he? Did you know she had a husband? Oh, this is this is the first thing. I didn't know. I didn't know he. How much money? She she told me. You've given her thousands on, thousands on, off and on, off and on things, man. Off and on. I'm saying you like a disappearing act. Disappearing act, man. Are you saying that? What happens is you're wined and dined and pocket lined from that sugar daddy right there, and you've admitted now to your husband you're having sex with him. Happens almost every time. Almost every time, right, Michael? Every time. Uh, we had, I know we had sex that one time. I was kind of faded. One time. Yeah, I was kind That's of faded. It. After one strip time. club, after uh, strip club, you? a few drinks, you know, things got yeah, a little wild. You know what? Y'all two deserve to be together. Yeah, you don't deserve it because you, you don't give her nothing. I'm done. All you do is take. take. All you do is take. Hey. That's all. You don't hey. need hey. 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 nothing. You don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. Because that's what happens when you do it. When you doing you wrong, wrong you're gonna lose it. You doing her, you're gonna lose it. When you do it wrong, you're gonna lose it. Do you know she has other sugar you daddies besides well, Again, that was a first to me too. You, you know thought you were in she, love she, with a woman who's married. You didn't know she's married to no other sugar daddies. Nothing. She, 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 she lied and played, played me. Oh, one ain't enough for me. me. One is not oh, enough for me. Uh-uh. So Michael's no. cars and no. phones and clothes and money, fancy food and fancy wine, you pay for everything. And you're That's okay with that? Oh, yeah, I'm okay with it. I bet. Thanks and I'm going to keep on doing it. You. Whether he likes it or not. Well, I won't you're be not providing, picture. so it don't matter. Well, I'm, I'm finna providing. get You're done. Stopping. You're done. I'm done. done. Are you going to keep no. giving her money now that you know the facts? He might as well. He's been doing I, it I all like this time, Bill. Let me ask you a question, Bill. How would you feel if... Your wife or girlfriend or whatever. How would I feel my wife sleep. was being financially supported by another man and he was having sex with her? I wouldn't feel good about that. I would not feel good about you that. You step your game up. Maybe step she, up your game maybe up. she wouldn't have me or no other ones. No. You step your game up, man. What it is, is all you do is sit around eating cereal all day, man. And me like She's a playing like a violin. <laughs> you thought you might have married her, right? This, you this, thought this, this situation is I making thought, me sick to my stomach because I'm about to slap you in here. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem with you. That's the problem. Well, hey, you. like I I'm said, saying. player, like I said, you know what and, I'm saying? And what? Y'all two deserve each other. Maybe she'll go back to L.A. with me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she'll go back rocks. to L.A. with me. Where, you, well, where you gonna go? Where you gonna go? I'm going That's her house. Back to Michigan. That's her house. That ain't yours. And do my thing. You know, you know we have a lot more thing. coming up, my... including Diane's lie detector. Stay right there. A lot more coming up. I thought I was the only one, but 
She a good liar, I guess. Damn. I guess she's a good liar. Girl. Can I believe this? Loving their lifestyle. How many sugar daddies you got? Over ten? I got ten, and I'm proud. You are dead. And the pay. You don't enjoy it at all. I don't enjoy anything of it except the paycheck. And refusing to quit. If you don't she like it, have you can go. This. I don't have a gun held to really? your head. Really? I don't have what a gun. What about your child? Head. Okay. We can co-parent. You're walk away from we your husband for sex with men for money. You know, if I had a dollar for every sex bombshell dropped on today's show, I could hang up my microphone and retire to Barbados. But guess what? Lots more coming up, including the lie detector test result right here. You can't wait for this one. Let's set it up, because you said originally you didn't have sex with anybody. Yeah. And then you said, well, I did have sex only with Michael, not the other 10 or 12 or 15 or 20 sugar daddies. So we, got, we asked you two questions, honey. You ready? Oh, oh yes. Diane. Have you ever had sexual relations with any of your other sugar daddies besides Michael? You said no. That was a lie. That was a lie. See, Bill? I, I mean, it's your, in, your intuitions are accurate. Hey, well, I have a legitimate reason, a valid <laughs> dated reason to file for a divorce. I, I think you got proof right here if you want. California, How does it make you okay. feel there's other sugar daddies dipping in that bucket of sugar daddies? <laughs> make me feel like I can't trust you. Like you, you can't trust her. She's married to this guy. Just all just get together and, and do each other and have a great. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go, go on that. <laughs> yeah, we asked that. one more question. Number two. Are you ready, Kevin? We wanted to give her a little bit of an out. What, Since what you've is, been married to uh, Kevin, uh, Diane. Have you exchanged sex for money with anyone no, else no. besides all your sugar daddies? You said no, and that was the truth. Oh. So she's not giving away to everybody, just her sugar daddies who are paying her. Does that make you feel better? No. No, that doesn't make you feel better. <laughs> Would it make you feel better? No, it wouldn't make me feel good, good at all, Kevin. All wouldn't right make then. me feel good. No, it's sad. Ladies and gentlemen, sad. it is sad. Yeah, it is sad that I have to do what I have to do because you're not providing financially. No, no. You should be it, out there I make, working a nine-to-five job and providing for your family. Let's go to my audience. Stand up. Talk back with Bill. Go ahead. Um, my question's for James. Um, you knew what you did when you married her, why did you expect her to change at all? Good question. I mean, at the end of the day, I thought, I mean, it, it would have an expiration date that she would, it was something that she would grow I'm up. I'm not doing it forever. Just grow up and basically focus on the family, focus on the marriage, and focus on our child. And like I, I said, all money's not good money. For us. And she just doesn't want to get a nine to five, that's all. Hey, and I see yeah, the diamonds, me. the gold, the jewelry. What you do, you must do it very well. Very well. I provide yeah, for our family. Too well. and it's, it's Almost too well. And that's the thing. If she you wasn't, can't blame me. I love what if, I do. If you basically, like My I said, I don't want to hear about your us. clients, what you do. And you're taking them to places that I've taken you to. You've taken them to restaurants. Who cares? You've taken them to uh, like hotel what rooms. What difference He cares. No, that's exactly. a man that and, you and that's pledged. The problem. And like I said, and like I said, after today, I'm not I know doing I it behind do your back. I'm not lying to you. I'm just providing for the family. And it's just a couple years. If you love me enough, you can wait. A couple of years. Me, That's he, not going to happen. It's not going to be a couple of years. It's not going to happen. All right, one more happen. question. Yes, sir. Go ahead. My question is for Owen. Um, if a dude has sex with another dude, that makes him gay. What you understand about that, man? There is a difference. There is a difference between sex and porn. There is an not absolute a difference. difference. Yeah, one is. It's still happening. It's not happening. I'm not making love to the guy. It is not any difference. It is. Cohen, it's very you different. gave your future wife an STD, and you go away and have sex for money with men and want to marry a woman, and she's giving you the ultimatum. It ain't going to happen. Brooklyn has said to you, it's over. Now, do you accept gay porn, or do you take your wife, future wife? What, what is it? I'm just going to say that I'm going to take what I do because I need that money now. Now, if you wanted to wait until you my problems were over, that. then it'd be fine. You told me that you were a model. You did not tell me that you did gay porn. You lied to me. Well, when I told you you didn't leave. Uh. You told 
your mom. She loves you, Owen. not want me to leave. You decided to stick around after I already told you. Is that what you wanted? Is what what I wanted? Did you want me to leave when I when you told me that? Did I tell you to leave? So then Did I tell you to leave? Because if I told you to leave, then I'd want you to leave. Do you want I didn't tell you to. Do you want to make this the mother of your children, yes or no? Yes, I do. Are you willing to accept those terms? I don't want him to do gay porn. Find anymore. some other way to make a living. A lot more coming up. Stay right there. Yeah. Love watching from your couch? Yeah. Who better to handle relationships battered and bruised by scandalous sex secrets than relationship expert Mel Robbins? Woo! Mel Robbins, how you doing? Let's begin with James in Hollywood because uh, this James is a special man. He's a business leader. He has his own business, and he can't get his wife out of the industry of prostitution. Well, you know, first of all, it's really sad because what's clear is that you love your wife more than anything. But the problem is, and it's the exact same problem in every one of these relationships, is that your wife loves her job more than she loves you. It's really that simple. And, and the fact is, like, Owen's not going to quit doing gay porn. And you can call it pornography, gay, straight, whatever. The truth is you're addicted to it. So you should We're pack your bags and leave now. It doesn't it's a matter. Because here's the thing. In relationships, what matter, you've got to follow your heart. And what is so clear in every single one of these is that none of you we, like the, all the partners, so Brooklyn and Kevin and James, want to be with the person, but the people that you're with don't want to be with you. They love sex and they love their jobs more than they he love wants you. He sitting on the Period. couch eating bonbons no, that, every day. Like, you know what? Come it's on. A, but, see, but listen. On. See, you're well, being. Holly, you yeah, uh, you don't. You look, you're not going to quit your job. It's clear. So now it's your turn to make a choice. Are you going to stay in a marriage with somebody who loves her job and loves being with other men? I'm going to be a single dad, I'm going to be a single dad. There you go. That's the that's 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 You know, they don't have well, no respect for their listen, man. Listen, one, one, of things, one of the we things that I will say, say though, though, one of the things I will say is don't take a, do not follow the example of lying, but it's really powerful to understand that Owen and Holly and, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, Diane, love what they're doing. And they love their life. You their just shouldn't be their married. job is sexual you intimacy. Be their job. Us. Owen, go ahead, Owen. Go ahead, Owen. There's a difference between what she does, what she does, and what I do. She enjoys having sex with all those men that she goes and has sex with. She enjoys making more money to have sex with her sugar daddies and lying to her man. What I do is fake. What I do is fake. I sit on the side. Yeah, but you say that. You stayed Listen, after I told you. Help. What I do is fake. What her? I do is fake. You lie. What's not fake? What you do is fake, right? What you do is, fake, right? you do is sex for money. If it's some guy with you, getting, he's you two are the same. Too. Don't you see Hollywood? But mine's fake. It's you enjoy. Fake, you like it. Too. You I'm like men and have sex with men. I don't like men. I think it's disgusting. I think you need to give me a big shirt. I do. I do. Well, so. What about your pizza? There, there are three peas in the same pod. They're yes. having intimate relations with members of the same or opposite sex for money. And yes. if money was not involved, Hollywood wouldn't do what she does. Not true. Owen wouldn't do not what true. he does. She loves the attention. She loves But true. the money, if you got paid no money, would you still do it, oh, Hollywood? No. no <laughs> That's no, the no, money. No. It's all part I, of it. I total, I, I, and if somebody's taking her on trips and out to dinner and making her feel the way that she feels, which is powerful and, like and wanted and everything that. else, like it said. doesn't matter. She, right. She's made her choice. You have to be man enough to make yours. Okay. Which means you... When we continue to bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to To those harboring a sex secret, here's the bottom line. Adults have the right to express sexuality in any way that is legal and is not harmful to others. But even if the sex act itself is not harmful, holding it back from a loved one may be. So put honesty before sexual gratification and you'll always come out on top. I want to thank all my guests for coming in and I'll see you the next time.
what it is. They all clearly like what they're doing and they're making good money. It's the excitement, it's the attention, and it's the money. Yes, but if you're married to someone who tells you, I don't like what you're doing, it's affecting our marriage and I'd like you to stop. If you're not going to stop, then end your marriage. It's like any other problem. You have to work through it or eliminate it. And I hope we have some good people on today that have big decisions to make over the next few months. I mean, James clearly loves his wife. Owen clearly does not get the fact that he's hurting his wife. In Brooklyn, not happy about that. It's sad. And Michael had to know he wasn't the only sugar daddy paying into yeah. that I'm clock. curious what will happen if we check back in three months and see if they're still working their you job. You know what? It's their day job. I say everything stays the same. I'll bet you a hot fudge Sunday. Everything okay. stays the same.